as always, how's it going, folks? We are getting right into now for broadcast. Feel like we are probably close to finishing this game, or at least this current ending that we're on the path towards. So we'll see how that goes. Good evening, I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. Stand in, stand in! Hey Gordux, how's it going? Having a good day so far. Yeah, I took a bit of a break from auto streaming, but I am back. I'll probably do an art stream maybe later too. Nice flag. Oh, I thank y'all. Oh boy. I love those sprinklers. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon to supper with you and Sam Mickey the most about kids being out of the house. Head to the pantry, take a moment though. Remember when it used to be your mother's room. Coming out with the last two slices of homemade cake. Sure for you and Sam to actually get to finish sweet things in the house. You save every mouth. Just you take your last bite, you swear you hear the sound of the front door standing. I'll be Charlie. Hello, Mr. Greaves from school. How's it going, Mango? Yeah, I'm practically running to come find you, and he's been a great ear when he finally does. I have some really big news! You know, Sam play along, Sam continue with bated breath. Give Michelle a friend to make me a buy pie card. Colors are a bit blended in. Pure public, so I can tell them it's a galaxy card. Dang. That sucks to hear. Well, I'm glad uh, the scarf looks cool, though. I don't have good internet here. It keeps buffering. That's tragic. Damn. Charlie asks is both not enthusiastic. Good workaround. Oh yeah. The galaxy star. Hell yeah. Nothing's on here. Well, whoops. I would just restart it so I can get to the settings menu. It's so funny. It's not even. It's not even loud for me. WS. Yeah. No, I have the desktop audio like very low on OBS. I'm surprised that it's still louder than me. So I'm just going to, through the game to do it. I'm Megan Wolf, and I'm Jeremy. Dawes. Oh, here's a face fucker. Your yeah, game did it close properly. Daddy, oh. Daddy. 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 Okay. and have confidence that the team will keep you safe. I proceed to waste a single point because this is an art stream. If you do remember, draw a very shiny apple. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. I mean, I'm, that's, that's relatively like how I have it right now. We're still battle slave slaves, we're just in prettier cages. We're only getting started. Okay. But it sounds better now, right? <laughs> Oh, 
I did lower it quite a bit. I'm so disappointed. This headset, which I got for my birthday, is already like losing hearing in one ear. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? Brand new, like not cheap headphones, and they're still losing hearing. It's like, it's inescapable. Or Brian, I believe these are. Oh, these are Razor. What's the big news, little Jimmy? Of course, he reveals a new badge from his pocket, and probably earth it to you both to examine as he announces. As of today, I'm a member of the first tier of Cohesion Cadets. There's way more stuff I'm gonna be able to do, and I'll be working something against it, but it's really cool. Incredibly as terribly as you end up a frown. This seems like a big step up for teenagers. You're gonna back your son, you're thrilled that he's happy and doing well. Hey, Mr. Rod, how's it going? Pretty good. Oh boy. That standy came a little earlier than I thought it would. Yeah, I, I thought you just you talked about that like last week. I'm surprised it popped up. So, yeah, it says we delivered to 16, and I saw it's been updated to 17. Now it got delivered today. Nice. Perfect. Oh, wow. I'm trying to figure out why they came two of them. I guess they made one extra, and there's that bucket that's in it. Oh, okay. Well, right, my recent headphones have been really durable. If I remember right, I got the Kraken headphones. They're so far last me since Christmas. Unless someone, like, drop kick it, kicked it while I, uh, <laughs> while I wasn't here. Because, like, I haven't dropped it or anything. So I'm assuming maybe someone dropped it while they were using the computer. What? Well, the boat dropped it. Not my headset. No, one of the ears are like it's doing the thing where it has to be. You have to fiddle around with it before it works properly. Shopping, something that always seems so tedious before the sanction, I've become even more mature now. I just get mo almost everything you need for the family this evening. You have to come back tomorrow to get through the week. Cue to leave the car park. So it's hard to make out why it's in the dark. Oh boy. The cat who has knocked over. The cat who has knocked it over. Killed the headphones. That was the cats. They have sabotaged me. How could you, Cupcake? I knew you weren't to be trusted. <laughs> Fuck this little alien. <laughs> she doesn't like people so Killed the headphones! As the final car in front of you drives off, you realize the queue is actually due to a checkpoint set up at the exit. You're like a man in advanced uniform, CCO, emblazoned up with a number of places on it. Crosses your car and knocks on the driver's side window. He's gonna ask for the for the passport, isn't he? And we do not have ours, Lamau. We have a cat named Cupcake. By default, they are mischievous by nature. I mean, she is very, she's very cute and loving, but she has no brain. She is a very stupid. <laughs> and uh, Muffin, which is the other cat, she is a little gremlin. She, she is a what? What do they call that thing in anime? A tsundere. There you go. That's what. That's Muffin in a nutshell. She hates everyone, but she wants to be pet. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, nothing to worry about. I was just wondering if I could see your team membership card, please. Those cards supposed to be voluntary? Sorry, I don't have one. Oh, that's not a problem. You have phone to us right here, and we're more than happy to sign you up. The man just as a colleague behind them, a young woman in a similar uniform. Clearly, you received the short end of the stick and stuck with paperwork. 
Uh-oh. Might as well... These guys aren't Rokaran. Well, strictly speaking, they're not, but there's also loads of benefits to having them. And no reason not to get one. His smile fades a bit. He puts a hand up to scratch the back of his neck for a moment. He leads over to you. His friends now seem a little intimidating. Uh-oh. Good point, I mean, thanks. That's the thing I want right now. I don't know, it's kind of shady. Hydrate the cat, get the cat some juice. Okay. Cupcake, you are free to exit the room. Your water bowl. Oh, not the water again. Oh, she's gone. See ya. I don't want to be here. Okay. She gone. She gone to get some jokes. No, I don't want to sign up for for um for Walmart. What's what's the Walmart brand? <laughs> I don't want to sign up for Sam's Club. It fucking sucks. Well, it was instantly the friendly demeanor is gone, and his expression is one of stern disapproval. Well, obviously I can't make you sign up, but I would strongly recommend you do. And soon, we wouldn't want people to think you had anything to hide, would we? <laughs> Take a step back and just free to drive on. Sure, you see him riding something down in your rear view mirror as you head home somewhat more hurried than before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Suspicious. He's gone, chat. Chip posts as much as possible. I mean, never mind. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. No shenanigans while I'm away. Invitation worth ignoring. Uh oh. Or is this Costco, but like weird? Uh, <laughs> so, so far in this game, like we're, we're a person like, um, controlling the broadcast, like the news broadcast, so we have to cut to the different cameras, yada, yada, yada. And outside of that, uh, we're making choices in these, uh, story sections. And they're having, uh, big ramifications to both stuff that happened during the broadcast and, like, the broadcast also affecting what's happening outside of it. And, uh, that, uh, like, there's, like, this big company, just think, like, uh, um, um, Google. And they're trying to like, and they have like uh, the child labor camps and shit. It's pretty, it's pretty fucked. And um, yeah, they kind of control everything now. It's kind of, it's kind of bad. And um, you can't see up here, but it says we have like the current wealth. It says what is money? News lore. Yeah. It's Saturday, one of your days off. You made the most of it. As late afternoon draws on, the invitation sits pinned to the ridge, staring accusingly at you. Chat of one gal has a mandatory work event. Woodsman was very quick to tell you. Also, don't you dare be late! Uh oh. I feel like I. They will literally fire me if I don't go, because we already skipped one thing, so. Literally 1984! Literally. Sam will give you a lift. Drink a chin might help with the reinforced off of social links. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh, you're pretty good at your job, right? Am I good at my job? I don't know. Oh. I don't tie barely at the Seven Nation. One of the oldest and greatest hotels in the capital. You're surprised to see a queue to get in. I quickly realized it's because people are being searched at the door by some very military looking personnel in smart attire. While you're waiting, you can't help but notice just how very opulent the building is. Possibly the fanciest place you've ever been in your life. You submit to being patted down with title relief, you relent to the hotel. Once aside, you're directed to the Grand Ballroom. Following the signs, you marvel at the sheer scale of the place. And are armed security guards. When you arrive, finally arrive, a very severe looking woman at the door asks for your name. I'm Alex Winston. Curly checks her list before whispering something to the waiter behind her. You may adjust the time to be seated before dinner. Please follow a manual to here to your table. The waiter smiles and opens one of the great double doors, assuring you for that to enter. Mainly, you can see why it's called the Grand Ballroom. 
You paused for a second to take it in. Oh, yeah. You feel a slight tap on the arm, manual just for you to follow him. He sits you at a table full away from the central area, half under a set of stairs. Switch is at least, at best, partially blocked. I was definitely not happy with you at the moment. Sat with some colleagues even heard of around the channel one offices before, but I haven't met. For the most part, they're considered slackers at best and about to be fired at worst. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're on the bottom of the tier, of the job tier list. That is unfortunate. As the word goes on, we hear Jimmy, Jeremy Donaldson, the receiver award for outstanding contribution to journalism. We hear Megan Wolf accepting it on his VF as he has a turn up to the event. Not unusual, apparently. It's hard for you to tell much from your limited view under the stairs. So knows the community cop. Oh, he's an officer hovering near your table. They seem as bored as you. As you. Few glasses of no doubt very expensive wine later. You see Bozeman speaking to a few specific tables. Joined by one looks like Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Confirm then an unimpressed mod from the CCO when you ask them, perhaps a little too loudly. Part of the spark the debate between those at your table about the virtues of both events and the stroke. Uh oh. Oh shit. So yeah, Advance is the Google of this universe. Disrupt. Um, it's the... They're trying to take down Google. Um... Damn, I don't know. I feel like if I put the, this Disrupt, I'll, they'll probably get fired on the spot, so I'm just gonna... Hmm... Nah, I'm staying out of it. You end up talking and staying later than you thought you would, despite yourself. Sam isn't less pleased when you keep them waiting or inside for 20 minutes. I wasn't tired of the table anything in the end. You'd still rather have been at home, though. Maybe we'll skip the next one. That was lame. It's like being in the audience at the Oscars, like, bro, I could just be uh, watching it on TV later. And fast forwarding through all the garbage. Which is the entire thing, Lomo. What is a cupcake? She's being a little needy gremlin right now. What is it? The heat wave, uh oh. Oh shit. Alright, alright, we in here. Oh shit. You've got someone to hose down the sun, have you? Yes, they just strapped on their wax wings. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. Not even. Uh, what we got? It's Crazy Neo, Wild Box. Gun toting hands. The bumblings. I don't know what oh my god. Is, He's here to keep us safe from people like you, Scott. What the hell is that? Oh shit. Uh, wow, wow. Welcome to Bumbling. Actual real news tonight. Oh, the world's on fire. Is that good enough for you? Going in five, four, shit. three. tonight. Siege of eternity. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions now entering their 10th week. In a statement from Team Headquarters... They both look the same. I don't see what's the difference. Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked... What's the difference? Ever since these illegal sanctions were imposed, we have gratefully relied upon trade and aid from our worldwide friends who, like us, refuse to recognize their legitimacy. 
Today's escalation, however, is nothing short of an act of war. We call upon our international allies to condemn the this law absolutely. And we warn aggressors yeah. to this country well, that I we pressed it. I don't know what that did. Nor defensive. Thank you. Beer in the headlights. Burgeoning brewmeister Johnny Hansley has today launched a new marketing campaign to revitalize the image of his unpopular Hebgot Ale. <laughs> that his craft brew could be a commercial success if only he could get in front of the right audience. Johnny's gone to surprising lengths in his latest. He's going to the moon! Group he's calling groundbreaking and his accountants are calling irresponsible. Johnny has launched a thousand bottles of beer. <laughs> Oh my god. He's his landmark achievement, while scientists are condemning his cosmic flight to be. In its nice. Arrest, exciting news from advance It's going to be raining beer one day. Monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Every month, lucky winners from a <laughs> company will be picked at random to receive what number three. they are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected. <laughs> and if it's lucky winners the light is oh shit. anything to go oh shit. by. Oh shit. It looks like oh shit. pretty oh soon everyone's going to have to have one. Okay, cool. Soldiering on. Despite universal criticism and threats of legal action, the CEO of Remington Sliss insists she'll be continuing the controversial junior employment opportunity scheme. Oh, we're good. Sophia we're good. Remington oh, shit. has called it controversy throughout her short career. But the continuation of the program described by many as a child labor force, is a low point even for her. She said! Unsurprisingly, Sophia emerged from an emergency resolution meeting looking extremely troubled, telling reporters, it all came as a real shock. I thought people hated children as much as I did. <laughs> okay. She's the one of those times. Leading their rescue mission is announced. The trapped team have survived in the cave system for many months now. But hope is on the horizon as the expedition leader is announced by the Board of Underground Theoretics. Given rumors of incompetence throughout his career, Captain Archibald Viator III has proven a controversial choice. This troubling service will include accusations of being drunk, dishonestly, and disrobed on duty. Classy. Life during wartime. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government. As radical activist group Disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protest, resulting in multiple arrests. <laughs> what is and this? Community cohesion officers. Advanced have yet to comment. I guess the fist. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves who are Disrupt and what exactly do they want? Other than a new box of matches, of course. More All this, matches. and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's feline football championship, and a proud owner. That's off on tonight's national nightly news. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Don't fry, don't fry. The hell's happening over there? Okay. Oh shit, shit, shit. Whoops! But first tonight, <laughs> our team of correspondents has been dispatched to every corner of the country to see how the people of this great nation of ours are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea. To see what the scientific community has to say. Megan, how's the weather there? <laughs> it's absolutely glorious, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. Gotcha. I'm here with Dr. Anna Burns of the University of Princeton. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I am? Oh, yes. It's no. Bad, it's it? terrible. And you're part of a team carrying gotcha. out a study into just what's causing this unbelievable heat. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yes, we want to be able to reassure the public once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about and that they can enjoy their sunstroke and fossil fuels in peace. Sounds very confident about that. Oh, very much so. I can say without any hesitation, there's really no cause for any concern here. I I've actually left my phone running. <laughs> so tell us about this experiment. Ah, well, we take data from weather stations from all over the world, along with a share of samples, and we take all that and we feed it into this state-of-the-art 
computer, and very soon we'll be getting a high That looks very state of the art, not gonna lie. Fancy. Oh, I should just say, um, none of this recorder or something. Without the generous support of Rivington Fitz. This is all thanks to their unrivaled investment in our future, and may I just say, complimentary personal anecdotes. Oh, here we go. And as expected, everything is absolutely fucked. Hang on. This, this can't be right. Shit, I fucked it up. Damn it. I didn't expect that. Oh, whoops. I was taking a drink. We need to evolve gills within 40 years. Here it just says... Shit, shit, Look at you. This must oh be my so god. Shit, 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 shit. Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running, running out. out. Absolutely right. That is all we have time Abandon for. Abandon hope and return to the forest. Uh, enjoy that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like that's just it. One opinion on the climate. The sea will reclaim us all. There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be. That everything is just fine. I'm Megan mm -hmm. Wolf, here with science. Back to you. Megan Wolf there. Damn. I'm to do some actual news. Next, we're all gonna, gonna melt and die. With some of the winners of this week's team membership lottery. Robin? Thanks, Jeremy. I'm here in Scritchford with Gary Failsafe, a janitor at the local school, <laughs> and right. Amelia Jackhammer, an aspiring poet. Both of you were drawn at random from those who hold team membership cards to receive this week's amazing prize. How do you feel? Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. And all that we had to do was fill in a quick form or two. Wow, that sounds so convenient. But we're all dying to know. What have you ah. done? That's right, Robin. I've won dinner with Julia Salisbury at one of the capital's top restaurants. Ooh, swanky. Swanky. Been invited to Peter Clement's house to help him dredge the gutter in. <laughs> what? Absolutely terrific. You must both be over the moon. I'd written a poem about it. So, can you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Well, I was battling against a particularly difficult floater, probably one of the six swarmers, when the headmaster came and found well, me. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict with a particularly arduous stanza. So you were both polishing oh. turds. We're no, both polishing like turds. Like keep them intact for me collection. Oh. Oh. How what? <laughs> I don't polish turds. I write poetry. Polishing so turds. So Gary. Do you think Peter Clement's going to let me keep the contents of his downpipe? Oh. Uh. No in asking, I suppose. Or would you like to hear one? No, thank you. Gary, please don't polish shirts. Was no. it in hopes of winning the lottery, or were there other reasons? I like a flutter, of course, but no. The boss said I had to sign up to keep coming into school. Very sensible. It's important mm -hmm. to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, I have an <laughs> unpublished book of sonnets about children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no. Or an anthology of haikus on the death of innocence. I'd rather hear about Gary's turd collection. Really? Turd collection? No. Are you all right? Yes, it's coming. It's inspiration and it's delicious. Right you are. What the fuck is happening? Today on the show there's no news. Just a man who keeps multiple poos. Oh, shit. Yeah. This figure's my favorite. See how it's fibrous. It's really lovely texture. <laughs> Would mm -hmm. you encourage other people to enter for their chance to win? Uh, well, if it's Collie you're looking for, Ew. No! We got the poop tray! When you've covered some crap on a tray. Some of these are quite rare. Maybe that They're poop. It look like a little Back fucking chicken wing. Thanks, Robin. Uh, well, I love you. And finally, it's fucking in this segment, nasty. Let's have a Patrick Bannon, who's gone to the smelliest town in the country to see how the unprecedented oh, weather is here. affecting Let's... the locals. Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. Hello, yes. I'm here live in Grizzleford, which has recently voted the smelliest town in the country. And I have to say that, you know, in this 
the smell really is. I mean, it's it's it's, 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 it's something else. Barry Largons, mate. You've lived here your whole life. How'd you put up with the stink? Well, we're just all very proud of our achievement, to be honest with you. You can tell that. Look at him. Proud as punch. Do you know what it's like, son, being the second smelliest town? No, I don't. Living in the shadow of Arsminster. I smug fuck. But who's Roger. laughing now, eh? Ah, oh, damn it. Not me, that's for sure. But so what happened, mate? I, I clicked right. slightly right. off the button. Smith came in and saved mm. the day with their factory. You're talking, of course, about the newly built Flarge factory. Yeah, they gave us this big presentation on jobs and growth. But as soon as we heard about the stench, we paid them whatever they wanted to put it here. Think not affect your life in every way, Barry. I mean, perhaps if you're filling in a tax return or completing the physical act of love. It's strong at first, but you get used to it after several weeks of your first bout of sickness. The judges were very impressed. So, oh, what's, what? What's, what's sickness? Like? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. <laughs> Now, folk are saying... Oh, what? His face! ...and how they dump carcasses directly <laughs> into the water main, but I think it's... <gasps> what? ...on the high street. Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? Well, the first one is asking stupid questions. <laughs> then there is a lot of inhibition. <laughs> Can't do they? When was the last time you brushed your teeth, you stinking old tramp? <laughs> oh, and next according is <laughs> poop everywhere. Randomly burst. Probably. Followed immediately by delusions of grandeur. Oh shit! Someone that was sung in my life. Hello, it's sexy Patrick Brown, and he's wearing sexy shorts now. Oh my God, look at me! I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me? What is that? I should take my shirt off. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. What? <laughs> that will be the bout of undeserved self-confidence. <laughs> Love the Bannon. Feel the Bannon. <laughs> oh, man. And the ennui. <laughs> All that's left now are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. <laughs> Is that you? Why are you made out of elbows? You know I don't need opinions. Oh, oh, he is dead. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. Uh, once he wakes up, he'll be just fine. We'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he evacuates his bowels. <laughs> right. That's all here from Grizzleford, a town that's really making a stink. I'm Barry Lardons. Back to you, Jeremy. Nasty. Thanks, uh, you need to stand back. Oh, fuck. Oh. When we come back, I'll be talking to three members of the general public who appear to be here purely for medical reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of course, you've got something better to do. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Oh shit, wait, how do I... Oh, yeah, that's go. stupid, even if you do. Uh -oh. the hell is Carousel. Carousel. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. We've got none of that. <laughs> that's all that we do have. What? Danger cars. Danger cars. Oh hell yeah! Oh, I want to go to the colorful germ pit. Activities, legally edible food, and legally to find the perfect family getaway at Bowling. Located just a few minutes' drive from local attractions like Cobb Sands and the Hole. It's a hole. Uh, it's majestic. It's very majestic. We'll take the whole family. Oh boy. Welcome back to International Wide Me, your host. Jeremy Donaldson. Later, we'll be talking to the captain of the Tennessee's first cap football team, Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behaviors. 
Joining me is a woman who's been hiccuping. Isn't that right, Miss Piercy? Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yes. Tell us, what brought all this on? Well, it's all a bit of a blur, Jeremy, to be totally frank with you. So I was watching your show and I remember seeing the news about the election and it, 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 it hasn't stopped since. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Also here is Frankie Steampipe. Um, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. We're constantly overlooked in the workplace. <coughs> we're whispered about on buses and we're asked politely to leave children's birthday parties. And it's disgusting. Leaving. What? I, uh... I'm sorry, my bowels have comic timing. And finally, I'm joined by a man who answers dude. every question honestly, even when it isn't aimed at him. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. <laughs> oh, wow. Not according to my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, um, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shushed a lot, which is hard. <laughs> hard. At work, they've asked me to uh, to stop answering the phones. It's really affected my confidence. Well, I find it really fucking irritating. <laughs> People tend to believe your story? Fuck no. Actually, I've been surprised at Oh, come on. I did, I did it too early. <laughs> and Frankie, um, why have you come here today? Because my wife left me, and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've started a group for people with ailments deemed broadly comical by society. It's called Take Out Seriously. Right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that death stare. We seem to milk positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been a runaway success. Shit all. Not a single person comes to our <laughs> And all of our leaflets fell in the canal. Huh. Well, Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shocking events of that night. What do you think? I've come down to the door of some absolute rubbish. What it'd be like to have a pair of tits. <laughs> Could you? Um, um, I'm sorry, it's very hot. What was I thinking? <laughs> that you're a team fuck puppet? No. Or a sellout cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, he just reminded that he can help it. And hey, if this isn't live television, then what is it? Fuck fest of propaganda masquerading as journalism. <laughs> <laughs> right, Frankie, Rose, tell us. How can the viewers get involved with your cause? I'm yes, still not censoring the uh, the <laughs> blue parts. The park uh, next weekend. It's called the No Smile 13 Mile. No, it's called the No Laugh Half. What did I say before the show? That it was the team, team, pulling well. Jeremy Donaldson strings. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, well, we that. may have to end that there, unfortunately. What a harmless bit of fun. <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about! Uh oh. Command, respect! Uh -huh, yes, well, well, what the hell is happening? I'm talking to Professor Pumpkin. A ginger tabby with a world class pair of penalty fours. Is that really necessary? No, it isn't. Let go! Not you! Unhand him at once! Yes. Oh, no. oh, shit! That's oh, whoops. <laughs> what? What are you doing? What the fuck? What? Don't you dare! Whoa! Yeah, cut the ad before I done it. <sighs> now, you in the broadcast center, phone to his little escape room. You listen to me. You cut the ads before I tell you to, and I will kill every single person in this studio. Holy I shit! I about what I'm doing. I've been thinking about it for a long time. We all should be. Christ, it's so fucking hot in here. Do you remember when we used to do the real news? Before it was all lottery winners and bloody cat football, we are on the brink of a siege, the likes of which the world hasn't seen in hundreds of years. The enemy is at the gates, and I'm stuck here talking to these three fucking idiots. I think my hiccups have stopped. <laughs> God. Get the fuck out of my studio. Go on, now, go, before I change my mind. Jenny. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Yes, Jeremy. Now. Good. Yes. Now. Right. You in the broadcast center. Alex, you listen to me. You pay attention. Now, I'm sure you've already loaded up 
exactly what you're going to play in the commercial, but today's going to be a little bit different. Look to your right. Yes, really. Look to your right. There is a VHS tape. Oh. I want you to load it into one of the machines. And when I say so, and not before, you play it. You've got about 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Now, oh, shit. all cameras. Alex, I know all I've doubted your competence, but surely even you know better than to play that tape. We don't take orders from armed lunatics. Play a normal advert or there will be consequences. Over now, we're going to show the other side for a bit. For a bit of fucking balance. And the good old days. Alex, play your fucking tape. I'm going to play it. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm playing the tape. If you see anything I don't like, I will not hesitate to start by killing this oh, man. Oh, Alex, you're going to get me in trouble with that. Let's hope you made second. the right call. I imagine the ratings are going to be through the roof. You've seen our symbols on your walls. Oh boy. We talk about this on the news. We are disrupt. We are the I can still can't believe you pulled a fucking gun. <laughs> that is pretty wild. You know the elderly are not a burden. You know the rich were not all evil. And you know the team membership card is an ID card. No matter what they try to tell you. Why should you trust us? Another faceless organization. A shadowy figure with a distorted voice. You've seen this so many times in the movies. Well, this is not a movie. Oh, it's that guy. My name is Alan James. <laughs> I used to try and shoot. A fucking chorus, it's Alan James. But now we live in a time. Oh. Perhaps you need to be shocked. Perhaps we need to wake up. Advance are coming for our freedoms. They're coming for the fruits of our labors. They will take our wealth. They will euthanize our parents and smiling throughout. They will turn our children against us if we voice our concerns. But you don't have to accept it. A great many people already won't. You can resist. You can disrupt. Find us. Talk with us. Join us. He still has the gun! It isn't hard. We're everywhere. I mean, come on, you lot. Mm. I have speech, good. But this... This was unexpected. So what now, Sarah? It was supposed to be your day ah. off. Good. Please, let's don't do any more stupid things today. How long? You're already lost. Welcome back to the National Mic News. Joining me unexpectedly, or I very much imagine will be my last broadcast, are two new guests. Jenny works here at the National Mic News and is someone I consider, well, a friend. And next hey, to her is. Way to what's your name? Andy. Andy. Andy's a policeman. Only we don't call him that anymore. He's a community cohesion official. Officer. Sorry? It's um it's community cohesion officer. CCO. And how's that feel, Andy? Being rebranded? It's uh it's good. <laughs> it's it's not about confrontation anymore. You know, the the force had its fair share of problems. The uh the team doesn't have as many. But it still has some. I couldn't say. Couldn't or wouldn't? I don't know what you want me to say. Christ, you're fucking useless, aren't you? We'll come back to you later. <laughs> Jenny? Don't want to be on the news, sir. That's what I want you to do. You want to do this? Why did you join the National Nightly News Group? I always wanted to work in news. Yes, but why specifically this program? The National Nightly News. It was the news everyone trusted. Was? Was. Is. Do you really want to quibble semantics at gunpoint? Is there something else you'd rather discuss? Well, there is a great big Alan James sized elephant in the room you seem to be ignoring. What do you mean? Did you? 
It's about the message, not the messenger. I thought you didn't know. Mm. No. I didn't know. The people I met were with. He wasn't there. <laughs> I'm I didn't know sorry. it was Alan Jiggs. I'm sorry. But seriously. Alan Jiggs. Alan Jiggs. Yeah, but. <laughs> your life down the toilet. God, I love you, Jeremy, but. He's a good speaker. He's popular in the country. Not right. Look, forget Alan James. There is still something deeply wrong. And you know it, Jenny. And you know it, Andy. And you, you I hope, you know it too. Meanwhile, I'm interviewing a guest who stinks of shit. Patrick is paddling about in shit. And Robin, Robin is literally interviewing someone who collects the fucking stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a sophisticated poll. What a metaphor. We are sleepwalking our way into oppression, and the news isn't saying anything. We're not saying anything. Says who? Alan fucking James. Alan James. What are all those scientists working on at Great Britain Downs? What are they testing underground at Alpha Great? Andy, your turn. Make yourself fucking useful. How many people have you brought in for consultation just because they weren't carrying or didn't have team membership cards? Oh, well, there's other forms of identification that we will accept. For how long? We're just here to help. Then why do you need these? It's not really help when it's offered at gunpoint, is it, Andy? Let me demonstrate it for you. Let me help you. No. You eat these cards with my notes on it, and you'll probably digest a fact. That would be helpful, <laughs> wouldn't it, Andy? Knowing Either. the facts? What? I don't understand. Do you want my help, yes, Andy? Yes, yes, whatever you say, yes. Security are here, Jeremy. Eat it. What? Eat the fucking news, Andy, or I'll force it down your fucking throat. Jeremy, stop. Go on. Really? Eat it. Eat it, you fucking bully. Jeremy, stop. We will kill you. Don't make me watch that. Holy shit. <laughs> what happened to funny news station? Sorry. Sorry, everyone. You can put the card down now, Andy. <coughs> you can go now. Is he gonna fucking you kill himself on Stop the news? Oh shit. All cameras on me. Oh god. This new regime of ours is so seductive. I understand that. But before we all hand off our freedom, should we ask for whom we're handing them over? Don't you want to know what's being done in your name? How many people were turned pigeons last month? A record high. Again, if you care. Shouldn't someone ask advance? How they plan to deal with this blockade? How many years or months of supplies we have? Why aren't we asking these questions instead of whose shit is this? There's a cat backstage dressed as a fucking goalie for Christ's sake. Who even got the little gloves? Thank you. That's why I arranged for you all to see that broadcast from the last break. I didn't know it was going to be him. But I guess that just about sums it up. We are all up ship creek with a paddle made of Alan fucking James. Christ, it's also fucking pointless. I was gonna take you. Take a holiday. Try something else. Out of the limelight. Maybe try having a relationship. I hear they're nice. Never tried it. I. I love. Now, well, God, Jeremy, oh I'm shit! I've tried my best to be honest with you, but he's gonna do it. Anymore. I'm sorry. Yes. I've lost this Alex. fight. Alex, think of the consequences. Yes, I'll get you down. Please, we can't send oh, this cut to the ads. I'm not cutting to the ads. My name's Jeremy now, Bowles. do it now. If you can, somehow. And I envy you. Oh shit! Have a peaceful night. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Dang! Well, that 
just happen? And I am way out of your league. But fortunately for all you young men out there, I've got something uh -huh. I did not expect it to go there, but here we are. Me too, Chad. Did he shoot himself? Yeah, the the news anchor shot himself. Chad, but we spent all our cash there last night. I won't have any more until the weekend. Well, let's go take hard drugs, mug an elderly, or spin a bum, man, Brad. Hard drugs? Sign me up. Weren't so expensive. There has to be a better way. Don't worry, young layabout. The RS-85 Wow Box costs no oh, more than wow box. And if you pre-order one now, we'll even throw in the groundbreaking new release that's sure to be game of the year. I sat down with the cutest dogs in the world and told them how to make a hit game. And here it is. A-T. A-T. Oh my god. This baby to drive our sales into the stratosphere. So we've already made hundreds of thousands of copies of them at our desert facility in Ledwater. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's E2. But you can have my mighty work. Now to see the consequences of our actions, Lamo. Uh oh, I think that might have been the last broadcast. Let's see what's gonna happen. D, A plus, A, you gotta be average. Yeah. Shadow One hates us. Alright. Let us continue. <clears throat> I cannot believe he shot himself. What the fuck? <laughs> 